Future Music. What's up, it's your boy D-Doc coming at y'all with another video today. If this is your first time here on this channel, I like to talk all things music production, as we're going to get into today, which we're going to talk about the MPK mini play. I posted this to my IG and a few of y'all asked, what are my thoughts on it? So I wanted to make a video because I had a lot of questions around it. This is actually kind of going to be a two part video. I did film a beat making session with this a couple of nights ago and I'm going to give you my thoughts on using the MPK mini play. Now I have the one that came out I believe in 2020 not the latest one. As far as like other production topics I like to talk about could be anything like we're talking about today or it could be new plugins, new expansions whether that's native instruments or archive could be new hardware or software. So if you like those topics, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. Also, the Major Music Lounge podcast, which is a podcast for other music producers, sound designers, music production app developers, music producers who create content here on YouTube, as well as artists. You're welcome on the show. Check out some of the episodes here on this channel, as well as on all podcast streaming platforms. You can follow me on Instagram at d.underscoremajormusic. Follow me on Twitter at d.mme. And if you are interested in getting on the show, you can hit me up on one of those social platforms. Also, I'm on Facebook, by the way, d.majormusic. So, about the MPK Mini Play. I felt the MPK Mini Play was a little bit smaller and more portable. And the fact that it had sounds was kind of a bonus for me as well. This is also going to be like a two part video as well. A couple of nights ago, I used the MPK mini play as a sound module to make a beat and I did record it. I'll give you my thoughts at the end of the video on how I like it so far after using it for about a week. Without much further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so as you can see, I have the MPK mini play next to the Arteria mini lab you can see there's a little bit of a size difference. I wouldn't say that's major. And this is actually going to show even more of a size difference with the MPK Mini and Arteria Mini Lab. Now all that comes in a box of the MPK Mini Play is going to be that USB cable, which comes with a lot of other of the new MPC models, for example. Okay, now right off the bat, if we're looking here on the left side, now instead of having a mod wheel like the mini lab for example has right here you're going to have that knob which is like your mod wheel now what i also like about the mpk mini is you can enable the appreciator directly from the controller also just like the mpcs for example you could tap the tempo now that's going to work like with the mpc software or the mpc beat software now one thing that's in common with the mini lab is it's going to have an octave down and an octave up button so as you can see here it does have an octave down and octave up button now as far as the pads on the mpk mini play i like them a lot to me they're very reminiscent of the pads that are on the mpc1 for example i think they might even be a little bit bigger they will also be bigger than the pads that are on the Arteria Mini Lab. However, the Arteria Mini Lab pads, they aren't bad at all. It's just my personal preference. I like my pads a little bit bigger. So I've always liked the Akai pads, even like, for example, the Native Instruments pads. Now, looking at some more controls here on the right side, you have two buttons here to switch between sounds from keys as well as drum sounds. And you can save favorites. And then you're also going to have that internal sounds button that kind of allows you to go in between using it as a standalone controller or using it as a sound module. And then you're also going to have more knobs, filter, resonance, reverb, chorus, and then volume. It's a little bit different speaker, for example, than what they have on the latest model of the MPK Mini Play, which just came out in April 2022. And I didn't speak much on this knob, but this allows you to switch in between different sounds. Now, if we look at the back, 
you have a switch that allows you to go in between USB power and battery power. And if you didn't know, it also allows you to use three AA batteries if you want to make this even more portable. And continuing to go over the back of the MPK Mini Play, there you're going to have the headphone jack. You have a jack for the sustain pedal and then a USB port right here. And now we're looking at the back of the mini lab, but you're just going to have that USB port and that sustain jack out. Now again with the mini lab, it's just going to be a MIDI controller. It doesn't have any internal sounds. So if you are considering getting a mini lab, I just want you to go in knowing that. Now the mini lab MK2 is still a great MIDI controller that I think you should consider. And this is just going to be plug and play where they want to use with your laptop. Now this is, and this is going to be plug and play whether you want to use this with your laptop. And this, and this is going to be plug and play whether you want to use it with your computer, or if you like me, if you like making beats on iPad, of course, also works with iPad. Or if you also like myself, I like to use the MPC-1 in standalone mode. And it just goes right in the back into the USB port. And then once you see the MPC-1 starting up, you're going to see the MPK Mini Play then start up as well. Now I also made a video on connecting external MIDI devices to your MPC. I'm going to leave that link in the description. If you want to check that out as far as how you can set up your MPK mini play with your MPC model. But right now I have it set up in controller mode with the tube sent. Now depending on how you want to use the MPK mini play with your MPC, me personally, I use it more so as a sound module. And in order to do that, you're going to make sure you select the MIDI port right here. And then from there, you're going to use your data wheel to go to the MPK mini play and whatever mini port you have it set up with. And now from there, so. Now these sounds themselves are coming from the MPK Mini. Just as I was playing keys a moment ago, I have it now in pad perform mode, so. Next is gonna be the beat making portion of this video.
so what are my thoughts i like it a lot it's 139 i got it off of sweet water now i can see myself using the mpk mini play a little bit more than i used the arturia mini lab that's not to discredit the mini lab at all as i said in the video itself if you are interested in a mini lab, I definitely suggest you check it out. At least give it a shot if you know somebody that has one. Ask them if you can borrow it. Or you never know if you go into one of your favorite places, wherever you like to buy your music gear, and they have a display set up, you can try it there. Now, the mini lab is going to be a little bit less in price. Now, it's only $99, and then keep in mind, it's going to be only a standalone controller. It does not have any internal sounds. So that would really be one of the biggest things that separates the Mini Lab from the MPK Mini Play. Also, with the Mini Play 3, as far as the internal speaker, it's going to be a little bit better than what they have on the model that I have, which is the 2020 model. But either one you get, I think you're going to be really satisfied with your purchase. Now that's pretty much all I have for this video. If you like this video, go ahead, hit the like button also hit the subscribe button you can follow me on instagram at d dot underscore major music as well as on twitter at d dot mme look out for new episodes of the major music lounge podcast all my creators my sound designers my music production app developers even the artists also all my people that create content here on youtube i'm looking to have you on the show hit me up let me know you want to get on and we'll get you on at the soonest available date Hope you enjoyed this video and until next time it's your boy D Dot and I'm out.